So, hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Sunday Sudai today for Server Tools 9.4. So I'm gonna again explain how to install it, maybe yeah correct some things I said in the earlier two episodes, and then also what's new and explain what does what and also do several problems that may come if you enable something. Alright, so how to install it? You are here the normal one. You just type in server tools updated to 5.5 .5 normally to Google and then you will see this thread. Then you will click on this link which will lead you to this page. Then you have to click just scroll down, click on this one and then you will be on the same page as I am at the moment. There you have to download the zip source. What you afterwards have to do is to shut down the server and then you will see here you will just unpack the zip. So maybe let's just do it. So I downloaded it. Here is where the downloads are and then to unzip it, just yeah, well, unzip it. Then you're gonna have the normal ones like change log, chat command examples, console command examples, mod info, and the server tools point dll. So this is what you should then receive in the end. Just deleted it. What you have to do is you have then just these files. Do not take the folder or something, just the files and drag them into server tools. So just drag them like, let's say, server tools. You will now have here your files, like here in mods. Now I go here to server tools. And now you will have these here. You just drag them over here and that's it. Then you restart the server and theoretically, then after refreshing it, you should have everything new. So if you go here to server tools, you should have a few new XMLs or updated XMLs. So you don't have to delete anything, theoretically or normally, let's say, like that. So you just have to drag the files in here, start your server, then just refresh, and then everything should be overwritten, and your elder things like, yeah, options should be still there. Times to times it doesn't, but that's just an error of the version. You just have then to maybe 9.5, install this one, and then it should be fixed or just write it to him if it still is a problem. Anyway, then let's straight on go to the server tools config because now I'm going to go through all the things again and explain it to you what it is, as you can see 9.3. So you can also check it on here if it's true or not. Actually, I'm using Notepad++ for this. Just maybe you want to know it. So the admin chat commands are true. So it's like one admin chat command is at admins. And then you can write your text in the chat and then only admins will receive that. So yeah, you can do it as you wish. Admin list is if a player types in admin list, then is then the server gives us a response. Hello, there are a few admins available or just the names. So the admins on the server right now are super F and so on. So this is this option that players can see if there's someone here on the server that is an admin. Then the name coloring, just that it is written in front of your name. The super F is in red and also admin is in red. So people know that you are an admin. Animal tracking is something else now. As you can see, is always show response. 
So what you have to type in, you're going to see this always on the commands list, animal track, always with slash, and then it's going to spawn you an animal in front of maybe 20 blocks up to 60, I know up to 30. So in this range, 20 blocks far away to 30, it's going to spawn you an animal, random one, every 60 minutes. And here are the entities ID, so you could also spawn like a bear or a zombie bear or a zombie like that, I guess, as you wish. And on the invalid item stack, so if someone has like 10,000 wood in one stack, that's wrong, and then it's gonna just ban him. Auction, so auction is something interesting and new, so a player puts an item in a chest and you have to stand over the chest and then um, like type in auction and then other people can well can give pot or can just make an offer let's say pickaxe and a player now sells his pickaxe over the system and then players can type in I buy this or not or like an auction, so I pay 300, the next one gives 400. And yeah, these are these special coins that are going to be down here in shop. That's the source of it. Autosave world is, uh, yeah, the world is going to be saved every 18 minutes, or as you wish, auto shutdown. That's interesting. So what you have to do here is if you enable it, it shuts down the server automatically and here you can first thing you have to do is time before shutdown so you will need this if you want just once a day a shutdown you have to put uh, like these are ticks so 24,000 I think 24,000 minutes oh no wait it's 60 minutes per 24, exactly it's that. And if you have done that, so 24 <laughs> per 60, or 1440, you should put this one. So every day it shuts down, but you can't do that because count on timers here. So you would need 1438. And then, after these 1448, so almost a day, minus two minutes, it's gonna then come down this countdown timer, which is also additional two minutes. This is why I do before here, minus two minutes. Because there is like a timer, and when this runs off, it's gonna activate this timer here, and this timer like it's a warning two minutes before the real shutdown happens. And then it's also a letter on login and days until hoard. A letter on login is if you then join in these two minutes, it's gonna give you an alert that the server is gonna stop soon in one minute or 40 or something like that. And days until hoard means that the server doesn't shut down during a hoard. Or right after it so it's like prevent that you can't loot your lovely zombies that you killed all right so remember that thousand three four hundred thirty eight and then two minutes here or maybe you like count on diamond 10 so it, it, for 10 minutes before it does it counts down that the server is gonna shut down as you wish then bad world filled word filter so you know bad words like um, shit or something like that just type them in and then no yeah no one can type them anymore what is interesting I just uh, read that recently that you could put in the entire Russian alphabet and then <laughs> they couldn't write anymore so that's possible too back that's new, it's gonna teleport you to back right in front of you. So if you die and you spawn 
in your bias, then you can just type in back and if your bag is just going to be teleported in front of you. The same thing is for bike. I'm against it, I think, because it was just easy, you know. Just back and then your whole loot would be there already. Nah, I'm not really for it. Blood Moon is still the same as day 7 days. So it will just show you when the next 7 days are go is gonna be. And yeah. Chat command responds. Well, this is the normal one, slash is private and public is with exclamation point. Then chat flute protection. A player can't write too much or it's gonna be muted. The chat logger is true for me, so you can Oh yeah, that's great. I'll have to show you that. Wait, it is let's take it here from downloads. And then on server files, logs and chat logs. So then this is just yeah, he just wrote something <laughs> little. Just one thing the whole day. Anyway, this is very cool. You just have to hold chat. So you don't have to search anymore in the logs for the chat. No, no. You have it here. And then you can, maybe if there are problems or something like that, you can read it very fast. Then clan manager. I enabled that. So it's like a hierarchy. If there's a group of people, there's going to be, they can make a clan and they can write inside that clan privately without other player knowing players knowing it and yeah that's very useful credentials ah that's interesting so no family share bad id and no internal so bad id is i have to go here f exactly to here oh a bit too down to the C credentials, you have decided to set it up too. So the family share is that, well, multiple players are just using one game and this prevents it. Then bad ID is, yeah, ID is 17 numbers. So the Steam ID is checking it. And if something is wrong with it, and doesn't have 17 characters, then he's gonna be kicked or banned. Then no internal is the address, IP address. I think it's mostly before because cheater are using, as I understood it, another thing and a router or computer and which prevents from getting banned, but this will kick them. And yeah, this is a warning if you host locally it's gonna be that problem because you play yeah, you're like using the same ID well I just enable it everything because it just lowers the problems like cheating and so on I add some protection still a great thing then custom commands sure if you see here of everything I'm in jail or clan commands I am I experience a problem if I if you write the same thing like clan command with one A, this already exists as a command and so it doesn't work here. So you have to like create a new word and I'm just duplicating two words two characters, jail and then it works. So I'm in jail. Alright, seems you have done something forbidden. <laughs> write to an admin in Steam and you will decide if you will be banned or not. Point. Then day seven, as I, under, as I said, just tells you when the next horde is, death spot. Ah, yeah. So if you die, it's not like the backpack is going to return to you. No, you go to the backpack. This other way around. Donate your name coloring, as you wish. Maybe so on, well, donates for your server. And then you will make his name yellow or something like that. Entity cleanup were useful if maybe a player just drops 
um, like thousand pieces of dirt or stone it's gonna clean it, clean it up and also blocks as I said and falling trees you remember might be all el older people well older the elf alpha 15 where you had to really craft all the time like shovels that you had then and then you leveled up slowly so the more shovels you crafted the faster or the more you leveled up and then you may be just thrown away threw away like hundreds of pickaxes just like that because you had crafted too many too many and this would delete them I think it's just then more FPS just helps you then the entity underground check that's not for cheater that's like if a bike bike is underground it's gonna teleport it up or also backpack the first claim bug I think it's a good idea it can be exploited but <laughs> I think almost everything can be exploited it's just like if a player dies you know a very early one dies just the beginning and loses his claim block then he can just type in claim block in the server and he gets a new one so yeah that he can try it out again then flight check that's as it is it checks if the player is flying the problem is I don't have any more any more jail because it has errors sure and there were a few errors because there was a player on a roof and this roof got destroyed and he fell down but the server recognized it as he was flying and not falling down and then he got in jail and then the problem is always you have to do so much it's very very hard or very frustrating to then get someone out of jail but not because because it's well so difficult no no it's very easy but the problems are then you have to teleport him back where he was before maybe he died and has lost because of this jail because he couldn't like run away from zombies well he lost his backpack and then you don't know what he had and then just it's a complete mess so yeah I do still kill but that's it and also nouns then FPS set target 30 so it's just the target of your server to have 30 FPS and it sets on it it sets 30 and it tries to maintain it I don't really know how, but it's trying at least. <laughs> Friend teleport. That's actually something I was thinking about, and I might enable it. It's if you add something, add someone in the game as a friend, then he can teleport you every 60 minutes somewhere. So one player can teleport another one. It's a good idea, though. And then gimme, I'm against that. So, yeah. It's like it, spawn, it spawns random things. Even zombies. No, I'm not really for it. So, like, maybe gimme every 60 minutes. Then you receive 5 scrap metal and 1 water. That would be just an example. It's random. Then hatch elevator detector against that, sure, so false, because it's so great to have this hatch elevator. If you don't know what it is, you have to try it out. It's one of the greatest inventions that there are in Sinister to Die, just so fast. Right. Hyping kicker, sure, 140, so if someone has more ping, it, he's gonna be get kicked. And samples needed, it's like he checks every 5 seconds, for example, and there are 3 samples needed, so it checks 3 times every 5 seconds. And if, if he is still, 
in these 15 seconds over 140 he's gonna get kicked then hordes oh yeah true it just means that if there are at least I think six players then it's gonna be enabled and every hour you can every hour there's gonna be a uh, server is gonna spawn a random horde on a random player isn't that great so yeah this is gonna go come a horde towards a player random well, I think it's a good thing a bit more threat <laughs> maybe even a dog horde so yeah info taker sure just tons of information as you can see don't build your base in a city etc etc invalid item kicker so you can you can do it as you want as you wish let's say your server is against weapons so you could then have in this xml which is going to be created if you enable it you can put weapons in it so it, it's going to be explained in that xml and then you just have these several weapons that you can, can't have and if someone does have these weapons then he's gonna get banned so yeah if you don't want certain items jail good thing it is self-explaining let's say here for the flight check as you can see it's jail enabled so you can do that so if one someone gets caught by cheating or maybe cheating and say it like that because there's always errors then he's gonna get in jail he can't get out of it and yeah he just wait for being processed like in a court next one is the kick vote so people can vote if a player should be kicked like if there's no admin at the moment and there is one player that's really, really annoying then people can vote for him being kicked location just yeah you can type in location and then it just sort of tells you which coordinates you are and which height login notice as you wish so like if if i now can set myself into this xml and then every time i join there's going to be the server says attention the super f is joining he is badass yeah custom as you wish so if you want to be the king attention the king is coming or something like that mod d is just this this entry message so hello name player name welcome to the server uh, enjoy playing like that that's much D and then Sean respawn so if he dies if it's gonna be told him again hello and welcome but I don't think so it's so good then new to vote same thing people can vote that a player can be muted always possibility that it's gonna be exploited and there has always to be a um, minimum players I think six I guess I'm not so sure anymore but yeah you can try that new spawn teller is like every player gets teleported to this location so every player that is new in the server and joins the server is gonna be like let's say teleported to this position here zero 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 or in your green zone or welcome zone as you wish all of them then night alert yeah as you wish the night is coming then the normal player name coloring so yeah you can have several you can really have maybe all the new players are called noob or new player custom color custom too as you wish player logs were very good so you have their inventory they extra they position and so you can like see what they had 
and maybe then have like proof if they cheat but yeah not always because every 60 minutes then maybe we'll you would need it to do every five minutes because I can show it to you right now here are the player logs and yeah this is me and that's right I was dead no I just died and had nothing in my inventory that's gonna be like that you have what you have in your belt backpack and equipment and if you are like ill or have broken your ri wrist everything gonna be in there then the player stat check I think that's very good obviously ban yeah oh oh okay yeah so it's like you can't have the full amount of like everything you can't have every skill at max even though you are level one that's just not possible and this he recognizes it it's against cheaters and then bans them automatically very good reroll time <laughs> yeah it's a funny thing so it reminds people in the server every 60 minutes what real time it is i think it's very useful for players that play a bit maybe too long it just reminds them hey it's four o'clock in the morning you should maybe think about going to buy it then report let's put it this on true and i'm in level one i know zero at the moment days before log delete five uh, people can report players like cheaters and so on and so on more useful i think because i can then see what happened which player is involved and then i can put it on the watch list i'm gonna explain that later so yeah reserved slots so if someone donates and then he can always join because he's then in these reserved slots xml and even though the server is full there's going to be one place free for him that he can always join because he donated yeah and admin level one so admins can go automatically in restart vote if a player is just too laggy they can vote to restart and then just yeah minimum players as you can see yeah then the server does that automatically set home this is like if you set your bias to home and you go somewhere away to a very far location you can just type slash home and you get teleported against that shop this is now the shop thing for the coins so you get coins if you kill a zombie custom one coin or ten or thousand or if you kill a player and if you die how many you will lose and yeah that's the shop anywhere like you have then I think an XML and you can put items in it like thousand steel and then players can buy from it shop anywhere means you can buy this steel from anywhere or if it's on false only in traders yeah in the base of the trader special player name coloring so just special player not a donor not an admin but maybe a slayer that killed 10,000 zombies in one month or something like that he can get a special name and a special color but then it's still the same thing as admin you know with the color and just prefix starting items there's gonna be an XML and then maybe you can decide every player gets a shovel and a pickaxe and a minor helmet every player that joins the server as starter pack as you wish stop server so if you type in in the console stop server it's gonna be a countdown 10 seconds before it does 
then 30 seconds before it shuts down it's uh, every player is going to be kicked so in a way this is for nothing anyway and then the kick login is no one can join the server so really the server is shut off for these last 30 seconds more useful I think suicide sure that's good so if you're stuck somewhere you have to kill yourself then travel it's I don't really like that it's like again teleporting travel to a location travel you know you can set certain points as travel points like your green zone or maybe the radiation zone or point zero 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 you as an admin can then put these points as travel and then the players can travel to these three points no it's thrill it's still traveling no underground check well if someone is has no clip and so on it's gonna it could get banned and, and yeah the server tries at least to recognize it as always there's room for error so that's why I have just announce and not kill yeah because I once got stuck in the earth and then I was killed because the server thought I had no clip and yeah that was very annoying because I was killed and so I made it on false I know I could do this on flight check 2 let's see how it gonna continue at the moment I have it on kill enabled but not jail no 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 jail surely not voting yeah that's kind of in a way you that's unfair for me I don't really like that so you can then server no people can then go to this link then they vote for your server so push push it up and yeah they get a reward for this vote like uh, 10 steel it's random again no I'm really against that so like you pay for your votes and it's not really what I want oh uh, yeah now we are here for the watch list so let's say this reported player is really suspicious and now you have this watch list XML and you can put his ID in it and well every admin that joins the server gets a not notification that this player XXX is suspicious and you as an admin should look further into it but not, that's not our thing if this player joins, you as an admin will get a notification. Oh, look, this player has just joined. He's on the watch list. So that's very, very good, I think. Very useful. If you want to have the control over suspicious people, you just get here the notification if someone joined and you don't have to always log into the chat. Better vote. Yeah, explain it. It does explain for itself. Sunny, windy, etc., etc. You can vote for it, and yeah, maybe it is possible then that with enough players they can change the weather. So let's say rainy. I think then everyone would be for sunny, I guess. But yeah, it's like changing the weather don't really like that the world radius that's something new as you can see already normal players and donators so a normal map has 5 per 5 kilometers so 5 north and 5 south so I am 10 per 10 kilometers or 10 per 10 blocks 10,000 I mean 10,000 blocks per 10,000 blocks and if you enable this one, then players can only go 8,000 blocks far away. But donators have all the radius. So like these donators get a superior 
like bonus and even donators can maybe go into this zone of this 10,000 so ranging from 8,000 to 10,000 and in this zone the normal players can't go which means that donators are completely safe if there's only one or two now as you wish it's like a safe zone for richer people and last but not least zone protection I really have great hopes in this one and I already wished a lot and it's coming um, sooner or later so the zone protection is you can put a zone as you wish and in this zone you can enable these different features like zone message set home or no zombies or also kill so there are going to be more zone protections so maybe you can have one zone that only kills one that only puts a player in jail and so on but right now there's only one and well this zone message this is here in zone protection XML and you can so the coordinate one is one coordinate and coordinate two is the other part so the other corner and well there's the entry message and the exit message and also the zone name so a bit for you for helping you so you're now entering the market and exiting were useful I can already see a lot because I have the rule that yeah people can't well build or well let's say not can't they shouldn't build in cities because time to time I'm gonna delete these region files and then I can just put zones around these cities which warns the player hey do not build anything in there it's gonna be resetted and it's private to every player so very useful so really then people really can see themselves that they can't they don't have to do that because yeah it might happen that in the info ticker they don't read that because they just play maybe one hour a day and in that hour it's not gonna be displayed and you don't build in cities so with this zone protection you are sure that they get the message okay so again this was everything from 9.3 if there's gonna be a new update so 10 point something I think I'm just gonna explain the new ones the real new ones or changes alright so again just to remind you of everything you don't have to delete the files normally just put the new ones into server tools and then the XMLs aren't gonna be well overwritten from the mod itself and you don't have to do so much but sure enable and enable the new things as I did during this video all right, have fun with server tools. This was a super F in a Sunday Sunday video. More theoretical. Have a nice day and bye.